I've discovered the uh, greatest contradiction of all time in idiot leftist philosophy. Um, I referred to it myself in an essay I wrote some years ago called The Ideological War, in which I contrasted the evil white people coming to Australia and dispossessing the native Australian Aborigines and a very obviously uh, liberalistic uh, view of Australian immigration policy. And the two issues were uh, the invasion of Australia by uh, white Anglo-Australians dispossessing the native population and how in taking a very liberal view of Australia's um, immigration policies, how do Indigenous Australians like the idea of, you know, Lebanese people and uh, Germans and Italians and all the rest of it coming into further the white invasion of Australia through massive immigration? Now, the crucial point to note here is that uh, this issue involves legal immigration. Just a standard immigration policy a country uh, has or used to have back in those days. But the picture has changed now um, from those times. Although it was quite a relevant um, thing to point out how contradictory it is to blame white Australians for settling this country in the first place because of all the evils that followed, and then saying, oh, these, by now these native people should have resigned themselves to this European colonisation and invasion and now should be embracing, you know, sort of Greeks and, you know, I don't know, <laughs> Indians and Pakistanis and whatever. <coughs> but the real kicker is that uh, leftists have gone from supporting a liberal policy of immigration to embracing the whole notion, even on the ideological level, of saying, you know, in effect, <laughs> that we really shouldn't have any kind of restrictive immigration policy at all. That is, that immigration, any immigration be it legal or illegal, is a basic human right. <laughs> and in fact, um, uh, the latest iteration of this is to say that not only is it a basic human right for anybody to just go from one country to another country, uh, but that it is now or should now be a, considered a crime uh, to criticise that, criticise it, <laughs> just criticise it. <laughs> Uh, as basic fundamental racism. Now, of course, be it noted that this whole thing about illegal immigration and borders has kind of morphed uh, in the recent decades um, into this kind of one-world uh, aspiration that the left has that we should uh, all be just one brown coloured race and I heard a leftist I think it was this Anthony Bourdain Bourdain character trot out this um, familiar line that all the problems of the world would be solved uh, if we had just one brown coloured race uh, got rid of all these racial differences this brown coloured one world race garbage which would solve all the world's problems so you wouldn't get uh, racial groups at each other's throats and it, it, it'd stop all the sort of conflict between peoples going on in the world and my reaction was um, yeah well that would be nice you know but um, in fact what you'll find is that um, the light brown people will go to war against the dark brown people and, you know, good one, mate. And what has changed over the years has been the full-on embrace of this idiotic idea in 
uh, conventional leftist politics uh, that the year, a few, just a few years ago, they would have, you know, there's no way they would have um, uh, sort of uh, said that we Western countries have no right to defend our borders. And yet they're now putting across this idiot line of uh, one worldism where countries really uh, uh, are not entitled to defend their borders. Uh, it being noted that, um, you know, this whole um, refugee asylum seeker thing of recent years is really just one part of a massive movement that has been going on for decades of people in the third world desperate to get into a Western country to improve their standard of living, which has all been undercut by this assertion that anybody who turns up on your uh, borders, on your doorstep, can simply claim to be an asylum seeker, which the vast majority of them obviously aren't. An asylum seeker is somebody who is in fear that some regime will kill them or throw them in jail. Um, but the vast majority of people routinely called refugees and asylum seekers are simply wanting to better their lives by going to a country with a higher standard of living, which is Western Europe, North America, or Australia, and not too many other places. And needless to say, uh, you know, white people, uh, it's not like white people are uh, migrating en masse to places like Eritrea or Kazakhstan or Botswana or somewhere like that. You know, it's all one way. Um, but white people are presumed to have absolutely no um, right whatsoever uh, to want to defend the established way of life and culture. Uh, this is not a problem in Kazakhstan <laughs> or, you know, or Pakistan or anywhere like that. So what has changed in uh, over the years, in recent years, has been uh, the adoption by mainstream leftist parties of the whole uh, do away with borders thing, you know, the, <laughs> there shouldn't be borders. Well, of course, um, uh, Western countries shouldn't have borders. <laughs> I don't know about other countries, I presume they're not uh, included. And uh, espoused by um, Hollywood celebrities and the like who live behind the walls themselves and who incidentally, like, uh, could they themselves take in a few of these asylum seekers? Uh, you're talking about people who own nine or ten mansions, each of which could house hundreds of the, <laughs> these asylum seekers. Do these people uh, even consider putting themselves out by housing uh, some of these asylum seekers themselves? A couple of years ago, Australian actor Russell Crowe uh, offered to put up uh, six refugees in one of his many estates that he owns around the world. And when I first heard this, uh, my reaction was, oh, 6,000. Oh, no, 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 just six. And then I, th I thought to myself, 600? <laughs> was that what you meant? Oh, no, 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 no. Just six. <laughs> if that's not damning with a faint praise, I don't know what is. <laughs> I mean, wh why does this man bother? He must be so removed from reality. And talking about damning with faint praise, uh, another uh, classic case in point there is the claim that Aboriginal Australians have been here for 40,000, 50,000, 60,000 years as if that's, well, that just gives them some incredible cachet, you know, when it comes to uh, discussing uh, matters, matters of, you know, who really owns this land and so on. And I'm thinking in 40 to 60,000 years, I mean, what did they do here? Like, um, they did, there was not a single building on this continent <laughs> when white people came here. There's no history, as in written history. Uh, liberal left Australians can't tell you anything about um, historical figures in the past or great battles or, you know, great historic events of the Aboriginal past. 
that that doesn't deter them on and on they go and I'm sure that in five years time the figure would be will be pushed up to another 120,000 or whatever years that the Aborigines were here and did nothing with this country. This was a country that was truly crying out for settlement. But getting back to my main point, the transformational shift of leftist opinion from liberal, legal immigration policies uh, to, I mean, at that time, going not too far back, uh, leftists would have agreed that, of course, we can't be promoting or encouraging illegal immigration. But now, in their fervour for ideological purity, they're actually defending the principle of illegal immigration. So now, what does that do to the classic uh, set-off between, you know, evil white colonisers coming to a country where they're despoiling uh, the, the sort of native uh, population of the country and uh, taking the country over and imposing their will and all the rest of it. So now we have this ridiculous situation where leftists continue to espouse the grievances of native uh, populations in the face of white colonialism, but through their uh, revised idea about uh, ideas about illegal immigration, now the evil white people who settled this country 200 years ago, as far as I can see, <laughs> fit the whole concept of people who just had a right to kind of come here. <laughs> so what does that do to the the, the whole kind of narrative of um, evil white people um, taking over a land forcefully that's uh, inhabited by native people? The native people are now in the uh, category of the uh, white bigots who, you know, uh, are standing in the way of the free traffic of uh, people between countries. This is as classic a leftist fail as I've ever seen. And the biggest contradiction I've detected in at least the last 25 minutes. And